Unit Amin Mohammed Ibrahim as the new director of the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Amin will take over from George Kinoti, who resigned last month. The head of state's choice made known by way of a Gazette notice dated October 14th. Hassan Mugambi profiles the new top sleuth who has 33 years of experience within the ranks of the National Police Service. He walked towards the interview room at the Kenya School of Government with his head held high and a smile on his face. The soft-spoken top detective expressing confidence that he is cut for the job. Thanks. After a rigorous exercise that saw the National Police Service Commission interview 10 top-ranking police officers seeking to be director, Directorate of Criminal Investigations, President William Ruto settled for Amin Mohammed Ibrahim. In a Gazette notice dated 14th of October, President Ruto said... And I quote, in exercise of the powers conferred by Section 30 of the National Police Service Act 2011, I, William Samoe Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, appoint Amin Mohamed Ibrahim to be Director, Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI. The National Police Service interviewed 10 shortlisted candidates in a marathon event at the Kenya School of Government Tuesday this week. Three names were submitted to the president, who then picked Amin as George Kinoti's successor. The candidates were questioned on their wealth, experience, why they wanted to be DCI, and what they had to offer. And I'm glad that I was given this opportunity to attend the interview and uh, answer the questions posed to me by the panel to the best of my ability, to the best of my knowledge, and to the best of my competence. But just who is Amin Ibrahim, the 58-year-old holder of a master's degree in criminology and security management from Egerton University and a diploma in international studies from the University of Nairobi, first shot to the limelight in 2007 as the Rift Valley CID boss when he coordinated investigations into the post-election violence and served as a witness in the International Criminal Court, ICC. He demonstrated to the court that police were not involved in the planning and execution of the post poll violence. Amin was the lead detective in the case involving former Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Barraza, who was accused of breaching the fundamental rights of security guard Rebecca Kerubo. He testified before the Judicial Service Commission and the tribunal chaired by retired former Justice Agostino Ramadani in 2012. Amin, who was listed in the police service after graduating in 1989, first served in Bungoma before being transferred to Pangani, then later Kasarani, as an inspector of police. He then rose through the ranks and served as DCIO in Langata, Kilindini and Mandera. The career police officer was then posted to different provinces as the lead detective, including Central Province, Western, Rift Valley and Northeastern Region. Amin's ever-rising star saw him head different directorates within the police service. He served as a director of operations at the DCI headquarters, the director of banking frauds, director small arms and more most recently, Director of the Internal Affairs Unit. At the dreaded Internal Affairs Unit that has its headquarters at the KCB Towers in Nairobi, he investigated police excesses. Amin is known to have spared no officer who crossed the line. Some cases he investigated included the Kianjokoma brothers' murder. 253 candidates drawn from different formations of the National Police Service expressed their interest before the National Police Service Commission selected 10 for the interview that eventually saw President William Ruto pick Amin Mohammed. Yes, once appointed, the director DCI's term is at the president's pleasure, as opposed to the inspector general of police who serves a four-year non-renewable term. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.